politics takes center stage as political parties embark on campaigns to galvanize the people ahead of the 2023 general elections. This forces young people to get involved in the electoral process, and one of such is Alowie Promise Lawuru, who resigned his position as special assistant to the Delta State Governor on Security, owing to marginalization of the people of Egbama by previous governments. According to Lawuru, his decision to resign presents an opportunity to collaborate the Independent National Electoral Commission to ensure a hitch free polls next year. The election is, uh, will be conducted by INEC. We support INEC. So, to achieve a very peaceful election, and we must do that. However, the Delta State government plays down the effects of the resignations by its political appointees on the outcomes of the elections. His resignation has no, will not distort anything in terms of security of the state. Uh, in terms of mobilization, you already know in this state how far we have gone. But the election umpire is intensifying its sensitization exercise by engaging the youths on the importance of permanent voters' card collection. I was talked to over 400,000 uncollected PVC. So it's a duty for every stakeholder to go back to his community and inform them of the availability of the third phase that is between January and March of 2022. What remains is that of uh, April to July which that's the extension period, and they, they, they should go and pick up their cars. In the various local government areas, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., including Sundays, Saturdays, and Sundays. INEC insists its policy on no PVC, no election, stands, forcing political actors and stakeholders to ensure the people collect their permanent voter cards.